So today we're going to talk about CPU. You can see here that my CPU is going at an average of about 40% and I haven't even played the song yet. So that's a little bit of a red flag. So how do you read the CPU meter? Basically, you've got different options. So you've got average and current. So current shows you what's happening today to the CPU. Current is a average, obviously, over time. So my computer is showing average, but if I want to show current, I just have to select it and now it's going to show the current. Also, if you click warning on current CPU overload, all that means is that the signal will turn red and start shouting at you, warning, warning warning, there is overload happening. Now, as I said, this is a bit of a red flag, but what causes the CPU to spike like this? Well, one obvious answer is that the computer is old or has a lower type of CPU, but it doesn't mean you don't have to make music if you have a slower computer. There are other factors that come into it. So for example, if you're using a plugin that has a very high accuracy that sounds more pristine or a high quality, the likelihood is it's going to be using more CPU. And obviously, the more of these plugins that you use, the more CPU you're going to use. And that's why I like using return tracks because you only have really one instance of an effect but you can apply that over different tracks and in terms of quality for example say I've got a limiter on like this if I select oversampling and I increase it say to eight times you can see here that the CPU goes crazy and the warning light comes on but if you're still persistently having CPU issues the best thing to do is really sometimes just to freeze and flatten tracks unfortunately that's sometimes the best way to do it another approach is to finish a song without mastering and then save the song and master in a different session as you can see here on the master if I just switch off all of the mastering plugins the CPU usage goes down quite a lot and you can reduce CPU usage just by switching off other applications that use conflicting resources so right now I'm using OBS to record this video and that's using up a lot of resources and is probably responsible for at least 10% of the CPU and to really help you pinpoint the issues with CPU you've got a monitor on the bottom right hand side called performance impact if you click that on and play the track you can actually see here where the CPU is affecting the track. So obviously if you have a lot of orange lines playing at the same time, that's gonna increase the CPU. You can see here the current CPU is almost at 100% already. And I've got the limiter off. 